Steve, here we go, buddy. We're heading back to the Avengers. We're going with the Cosmic Cube. The world doesn't need Avengers. AIM will save this world. I will save it. There is no end to these clones. You don't understand what that cube is capable of. Steve, you and I have been on this roller coaster of a ride with Marvel's Avengers, and we're back yet again. Do we seem to get pulled back in for one piece of DLC or another storyline? This, that, and the other. And you know what? Monica is back with the Cosmic Cube. Dude, what did you think about this little adventure? Well, I have to say, start off, it doesn't make it easy to find the event. Uh, because I actually had to Google it because it did say in your task menu, it didn't actually say Cosmic Cube. Yeah. And it was like, and because I still had quite a few um, events to do, my whole screen was full of <laughs> loads of different ones and I didn't know which one to do. But to be honest with you, when I got onto it, I really enjoyed it. I, I like the way how they're doing the story in little snippets. Yeah. Like piecing, it, piecing it all together. Yeah. And I. And to be honest with you, I did have to do a bit of a grind to get to the level to play this as well. <laughs> sure. I, I think I was only on level 45, and I think I had to get over to 100. Yeah. So I got a bit of a grind on that one, but, I'm, but to be honest with you, I, I did enjoy this one I, very I, much. I had a great time jumping back in too. I think that's what Marvel's Avengers does so well, is that it's the core mechanic of the game is so enjoyable to play. And then they give you little tidbits of information and gameplay to go back into the game and then you're back in there for a short time right like there's things now that when i'm jumping me jumping back in i'm like man they've done a lot of updating to this game like they've really done a ton of stuff because like you say right you pull up this menu and you're looking for this latest event the cosmic cube and you're going what is where where do i find this thing i think that's one of the biggest struggles with the game is the confusion of the latest events they need to put yeah. that on top on a highlight reel of some sort going you want to play the latest event boom here it is right yeah. this is the easiest way to find this cosmic cube which isn't like you say right it's against all odds is the title of the actual story point i'm like well man that, that has nothing to do with what you guys have been calling this the entire time so how about yeah. some clarity here please because it would have been a lot easier for us to figure it out but going in dude you got a good point you got to be up there right so yes my hulk 150 max him out a long time ago you had some catching up to do but so do the rest of my avengers right those yeah. characters so we jumped in this ourselves and then i brought two of my own crew with me didn't pan out so well but dude when we rolled in there with a level we were i think the lowest one was level 147 power level yeah. i'm talking and then overall right you max out at 150 that's where a lot of us sat at then yeah like we plowed through this thing i bet you steven probably half hour to 45 minutes right but it was yes. a, it was a quick event a good time a little cool story bit but i think the best thing about it is it kind of really pulled me back into avengers it made me want to grind out some of my other characters that i haven't been grinding out and get me ready for war wakanda dude i'm excited it had me yeah. all set up now and i can't wait for more content this is fantastic oh i totally agree uh, but i will say to other people as well if you're planning on doing this by yourself you got a crew of four people with the level 150 and you'll have so much fun because the other thing i found as well when i was down they just keep fight mortar bombing me and different stuff and when they come to revive me the ais they were down as well so that was the only kind of the glitchy things i had on on that front of this new event sure um but how about you did you have any more glitches or anything or i did have one concern right like i had i did the i started the event with a bunch of randoms and everybody on the world either locked up froze up or did the t pose and i was just like man there's just some unfortunate glitches that are still going on within the game that i'm hoping that they could just polish polish that up and make it a yeah. seamless experience right we get into the final battle with the boss no secret here it's monica let's be honest and yeah. like her situation when she multiplies these eight characters they're t-posing as well and it's just like yeah. man like that shouldn't be happening her character's just standing still and you're just beating her up to get onto the next part of the story point but it's just unfortunate and it's just not necessary to be there i've had a great time steve but just some unfortunate yeah. glitches yes definitely 
All right, Steve, you have final thoughts on the latest event coming into Marvel's Avengers? Oh, yes. Uh, I definitely recommend it, but believe me, do that grind because <laughs> the next DLC we're both looking forward to, yep. it's going to be a lot longer than two hours or four hours. I've, I've heard this could be seven and a half. I think I covered it in the news not long ago. They reckon it's going to be seven and a half hours long. Nice. And we've also got Christopher Judge as the voice. Voice over, Mr. Kratos. <laughs> so I, I definitely, definitely recommend and I really enjoyed this one. I did too. I had a good time. It felt great to be back in the world of Avengers and it now has me going back to level up more of my other characters to get ready for when we get into the War of Wakanda. Don't miss out. The Cosmic Cube DLC for Marvel's Avengers is a must to play, but if you're not at the recommended power level, then be prepared to put in some hours to level up. It'll be worth it though as War of Wakanda DLC drops soon, and you'll need that higher power level.